things. Like, it's a very weird schedule this week for the playoffs, to be honest, but it's it's working out, and I'm down with that. Then and we're going to start the game already. Sweet. Okay, we've got, we're not messing around at all. We're getting okay. Hello, all the viewers as well. I'm sorry that we, or that I abandoned you for Dota for the last four days. We have got some juicy quick action for you right now. Claws versus ASEC, both of them being pretty surprised players this last week, and Claws... Having beaten Evil on one map during the secondary group stages, he's having a, a good start here and possibly getting a solid win. Yeah, could happen. The very aggressive start though, one like they only got one yellow before any frag had appeared, and there's Zazik again. Dying get the red armor. He wants to he wants to avoid that he wants to fight. professional advice. Ooh. Oh well, okay. That was a good fight. I can't believe Claws actually rocket jumped this day. Yeah, He's got like... eight. There we are. There. The risk did not pay off this time, Claws. And you've been punished accordingly. But ASIC well, was only the rockets. Not just the risk, but missing the timing for that much. And Claws LG is hitting like a truck today. It is. I, I, I what's ASIC hitting? ASIC's not hitting. A great deal right now. A lot of his rockets are missing. He had a chance to get that top yellow a long time ago. He went to do damage at red, did none of it. He could be on 100-100 and instead he's much less. Oh, and the mistiming of the Mega. Again, Claus died there the last time he spawned. And, well, this time Ezek actually survives. That's actually turned out okay for him. Yeah, he got the red as well. Claus missing the damage. He just missed out on two very good opportunities. Where I'm trying to avoid sneezing right into the microphone. I don't want to kill all headset users at the moment. No, Claws finding him down at the bottom, but it's actually Asic who's now dominating uh, the game. Let's see if he can pick up a couple of extra frags that Claws yeah, was not able to. And see, oh, Asic needs a clean frag right now. Yeah. And he gets it. And that's gonna be Mag as well, and the spawn frag. Great stuff. And Claws even can pick up the bottom yellow, so despite. Whoa. <laughs> Those rockets were awesome just there. I thought he just kind of casually flicked, not, didn't really care about the second rocket, but it was dead on. And this is another one, Claws, you're getting your ass handed to you right now. This is a very good uh, Azic Mac. Like, he doesn't know all the maps properly, but the ones he, he knows, which is this, the M6 and Cure, he plays them really, really well. But I, I, as I said yesterday, and I was guessing we would probably be. Claws is very good in the best of 5, he's less good in the best of 3, and now in the best of 5. five. <laughs> Took a while. I meant best of 1, I meant best, I mean best of 1 earlier, I'm not sure if I said best of 5. Uh, Claws, he didn't even get the red, a looking at it, like, oh, oh right, wow. uh, I, I am able to acquire this precious resource. And he's quite happy, if we, after he gets this top yellow he'll have a much nicer advantage on Claws. Risky weapon switches over here, but it's paying off for him. Uh, Claws is going to be weak on ASIC looking for the strong eye. Oh, he's going to hit the next one. Nice. This is really nice play from ASIC. Yeah, what I was saying, ASIC doesn't have experience in all the maps, but I don't think Claws has either. I know he's really good in a couple of maps, but he hates the old maps, for instance. Yeah, m maybe as we get to like map 3, 4, finding we get that far, of course. Then we might see the maps that these guys really uh, adore a lot more. What? I don't know, that's from, what, what's wrong with it? Surely it'd be the first maps that they would like better, and the last ones would be worse. Yeah. If there's only a few. Uh oh, ASIC, uh, maybe in trouble, but Claws kind of just sheepishly pokes his head around the corner and then double backs when ASIC's completely ready for him. Beautiful. Oh, the bomb off the teleport. <laughs> Claus is just... Okay, he had a nice start, but it, it was... It ended fast. And now Ace a... is storming away. He had a nice start until he screwed up the Mega Time and he died there, giving the Mega the red and the yellow to Azik. And Azik after, he screwed up the Mega Time as well, but Claus wasn't able to punish and instead he just gave all of the items for free again to Azik. Yeah, it was that weird rocket jump that left him with 8 health that was just kind of yeah. odd. <laughs> just, just like, why? 
Might, might as well just kill yourself if there's like 10 seconds for the mag and you're on 5 health, just kill yourself and get a weapon and rush there. This map of course what? gives you that great back to back to back rails. Yeah, that last one was astonishing. Uh, Isaac uh, is the Polish player, right? I was thinking yes. he's German earlier, okay. This is one way to get the first five minutes going of the match. There's a couple of seconds left till Red and Claws. He's just a long distance away, and that rock is certainly not going to get him anything. And Asics is just running. He knows that he's damn weak right now, and Claws is just keeps on chasing. He's finding all the health bubbles. This might go right back in Claws' face, but Asic misses those rockets. I, I wouldn't have gone through the teleporter. He could have lifted Claws well into the air. Okay, great. That's a frag. Claws needs to get on the Mega right now and then get back to Red. And Ace spawns in the Mega. It's gonna be really bad for Claws. He stopped move though. He's not gone back. You could rocket jump up if you wanted Claws. Oh my god. Yeah. Ooh. And that's the worst mistake Ace has done. Now Claws will have enough momentum and health and the weaponry to actually try to make a nice comeback happen. So Ace being way too greedy for damage there. Like, if he got that Mega. Did you he see would be able to dictate the pace of the game. I want to ask I'm, you about yeah. the last kill. I didn't see the last kill. From right, his point okay. of view. I wanted to see how what, how far Asic was in the air as he jumped onto Mega, or if it was just like a kind of floor splash. Oh, what a shot! I can't believe it. Got another one. Claws is hitting really nicely. He can get the LG out. There's a couple of left seconds left on red, and now he can stack up. So he's going to force the spawn over by uh, red. But actually, as long as Claws doesn't let Asic get a free lower yellow, then he should definitely be able to continue taking a charge of this. Uh oh, Asic! It's going to cost Still a lot of health. Now, Asics completely out of the map. Does he actually want to try and just survive now? Because it seems that that's what he's going to try to do. I don't think that's going to work. Because if he wants to survive, he should definitely try to keep a hold of the, the rotation of the items at least. Because right now he could have tried to steal that mag health, for example. But he's just favoring to survive. Still three minutes to go. Only six frags. Oh, God. <laughs> Easy pickings there for Claws. And look at Asic, he's already delaying his own spawn. I just no point right now, he's got to do damage. Claws has now got two kills yeah. without losing any of his 200-200. The most damage that he's receiving at the moment is just time ticking away at his health and armor. Asic, you need that to That are his own rocket jumps. Yeah. Okay, he can get the red armor. I don't think he'll be able to stay out of, to get out alive, and that's a great LGP. And wow. we don't see this often in toxicity. But that was for nothing, really. If he doesn't do damage at Claws, look at Claws, 200, 200, still, still. gonna pick up another yellow. A6 and still needs hasn't to get back damage. in the game. There are two rails now. This is good. Uh, Claws is being a little more careful at the moment, and this red coming up, he should possibly get himself positioned, but Asics already moved in. There's the drop great down. Stuff. Risky play from Claws and oh one my God, HP. One health. He's gonna fall in the slime, isn't he? <laughs> oh, and he gets another one. 225s are up. Claws just needs to rush back at him. It need, that's what he'll do. One more rail will kill him. Oh my god. I could was... swear that went through. <laughs> it did. It went just past his eyes or something. I'm not sure how that how that works at all. I think uh, the issue there was Claws hesitated, dropping down to red, and then he decided to drop mid-fight and just YOLO yeah. it. He couldn't do that. All he needed to do is just stay well positioned and kill Claws again. That red armor pit is a trap. Machine gun, machine gun. Oh, well, I guess that will do just fine, but he's got no health whatsoever. And <laughs> shut he down. I think we might see uh, this being a GG very soon, but if, if Claws can suddenly like just get into the game, and if Asic just goes AFK, we could get Kelly. Yeah, no real uh, rail hits there from Asic, uh, from Claws, sorry. And Asic should be able to clear this one up. There, chase through. He may be thinking of the gauntlet, and he, as he was available, he thought maybe may, maybe that's a bad idea. A really nice attempt at the comeback though from Claws. It, it was essentially just one mistake that cost him, like, the end of the uh, of the comeback. Yeah, he thought, okay, I'm gonna kill him, but even if I kill him, I'm not gonna have 
that much tech and he could probably just rush back at me if he gets a good spawn so I have to be super greedy and try and get the red armor. I guess that's how he thought. And it, was, it was kind of on the verge of being just like a really traditional toxicity. Here we have one guy taking five minutes getting a big, big frag lead that almost looks like it's more than is recoverable. And then Corzo's on his way back, but just couldn't quite get there. But certainly showing how it's very possible to do that. GG, 22 to 12. Asic is going to take map number one. A very good win for him. I wonder what will be the next map. I'm guessing Claus will want to go to Cure and Sinister. Yeah, they... I'm trying to remember what they were picking. Did someone pick DM6? Asic probably picked the, MC, the M6 as third. And if the second map is Cure, then 3 to 0. Hmm. Let's see. Claws is... For Claws' sake, I hope the next map is Sinister. Yeah, I think he needs to slow things down uh, a little bit. Was it Sinister that he beat Evil on? I think so. I think so, yeah. I just up, uh, got those VODs uploaded onto youtube.com slash ZookQR, guys. So uh, I'm going to be posting a little bit um, probably and... during the show or later during the show. Game that you've got to watch. A series that you've got to watch between Claws and uh, Evil. He's seven. Okay, this is this is good for Claws. Asic's all right here, but he's, yeah. he's not as good as he, he is on Toxicity or the M6. Is there any way we should be knowing more about ASIC? There's people in chat going, it's Verb, it's Zik, it's Avic, it's whoever. It's, it's ASIC. Is it just ASIC? Is there no... What, what's wrong with being just ASIC? Because this guy's strong, really strong. And you don't expect yes. a name out of nowhere necessarily. I'm waiting for someone who's known this guy for any significant period of time to come in with the facts and tell us, Oh, right, he played Quake 3 from this period to this period, and he's got these accolades and stuff like that. So, so someone, because like, at the moment, no one really seems to have a damn clue what this guy's history is. <laughs> right, let's go into game number two. I'm going to follow Asic here on Furious Heights. And uh, he's going to be getting, well, essentially the mega spawn over there, LG early on. Right, uh, did he hear Red getting picked up? I uh, think he did. And apparently he didn't hear Claws at all, or just decided to ignore him, and that's going to cost him the first minute of the game, because if he tries to go aggressive, Claws is very likely to shut him down, but he will try to go aggressive at this red either way. And there he goes, he's going to get shut down. Get out, get out, get out, Asic, get the hell out of there. Okay, he, oh, he made it. Alive. Could have been a lot worse. But that was all. Yeah. If, he, if he caught Claws on the way down, maybe he could have got some damage, but... It's like a 5% chance that he was going to make something work properly then. And Isaac likes to try and do that in every item, even if he knows he has a very small chance. Uh, but he, he pretty much takes for granted that he's going to be able to get out, and there he's at the red. And Klaus needs to commit to this fight and get the frag, and it's very well done by Klaus. He needs to keep doing this, this kind of stuff, because Isaac will be there on the item. Oh, nice little uh, conversion by him. Plus, needs, he needs to be the one making a move before it's too late, because if he doesn't know where Asic's gonna go, Asic's very likely to steal one of the major items right now. Claus needs to go and find Asic. Yep, Asic's gonna get the Mega, and that's gonna be bad for Claus. Doesn't even hit the rail. I think there's some pictures in chat uh, of Asic, but does anyone actually know his history, though? Because at the moment it's just, hey, it's Asic, but, like, tell us about him a little bit. Nice little frag there from Claus. Really taking this uh, game by the nuts. Asic seems like helpless right now. He's just the things that you don't do off this board, and that's just walk into your opponent while hoping yeah, and to. rushing to the items. He, he's going to every single item, and he, he keeps dying there. He's just trying to play this map like he plays up to 60 item 6, and he's really not working. Yeah, I'm just checking chat to see if anyone does, uh, has got an answer. If, if, if Kozo, do PM me in Skype if there's something, uh, if there is something else. I'm gonna look at it like after this uh, this map probably. But... All Kozo link was the brackets for uh, all these plants that they participated. Oh, I see. I'm now checking the brackets to see if he got any decent plays. But he wasn't in top 4. He what? He wasn't in the top 4. Ah. Uh. Nice perfect timing there from Claws, allowing him to get that uh, red still. Doesn't really want to risk most of his stack. Oh, a brilliant rail as well. 
Nine zero. This is like three minutes of absolute domination. I don't know how Claus is connecting with all these rail shots. Actually, just looks so effortless on his behalf. And Asics just smiling, but I don't think he. I don't think he's really smiling. I, I think he knows the game is harder than that. Daisy got uh, 58 place after he lost 2 0 in the quarterfinals versus Ginon. I see. But Ginon won the land. Or Ginon won, or. Yeah, Ginon won. He flashed in the finals. Oh, he's, gotta be, he's gotta win something. <laughs> Sorry, Ginon. I heart your trollish, uh, your trollish, your trollish ways. <laughs> I don't know how Asics can recover from this. GG, yeah, okay. He obviously realized that there's no way that he can recover from this. And he's just going to give it up and get himself into the next map. Well, there would be if his nature of game wasn't so aggressive. It was like three and, and a half game, minutes? Uh, three minutes and 37 seconds. Yeah, so that's... <laughs> uh, that was a short game, but uh, we'll, we'll get, we're getting through this series. And... Um, I think I did see DM6, but yes, and it is going to be now. This is going to be A6 map, and uh, we'll have a look to see how Claus is going to fare up uh, on this. <laughs> Ganon's in chat. Okay, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I, I I already made my apologies. I'm sure it was a juicy, a juicy, well-deserved win. Is Claus going to get his ass handed to him here? Most likely, yes. Okay. I'd be surprised if Claus comes close to winning this map. Alright. Well, I'm always ready for a surprise of some sort. Looks like they're going to get themselves started here on map number three. Um, three I think I'll follow two, Claus. I know that it, we, we've seen Asic start this map before, but I want to check out to see how Claus plays this. Just gonna grab himself the plasma as his first weapon. What the hell is he going to do? I think he's just going to back Hardly off the enough. Smartly enough, he, he picks up the red because he knows Asik's gonna be on every single light on like a dog. And Claw's best chance is to start connecting with those rails and land the rockets from bridge to red. That's where Claw's can really capitalize on, on this. And that's a lot of damage, didn't even get the first frag. Really well done. And that was amazingly clean because Asik didn't do a single point of damage and he wants to attack at the, at the mega realizes that he just can't unless he wants to die again. So Claus will have very solid control from the start. He can easily capitalize on this to get control for at least 5 minutes. This is very, very solid control. He needs to make sure he doesn't let AZ keep stacking up though. He just let him get uh, the shards, Ooh, he just went uh, the green and yellow. And Asics in the rail, we can obviously tell he doesn't want to just rush at every single item like the other maps. He actually has a, a very distinct clue of how to approach this game. Oh, there's a LD. A lot of damage done from Asic, but Claus is going to be able to pick up that kill. I'm yeah, but that's Claus not the clue. didn't back up for the rail, because I heard him, you take the bounce pad and Claus just did nothing. That's not the kind of kill you want to be taking, because that wasn't clean at all. And Asic managed to get the rail again, but he's not connecting. Not with anything. Yeah, Claude is just happy with this. He takes one rail shot, he, he, he's backing off, he can just go and get himself the yellow armor. He's got to be careful though, because this is starting to become uh, painful for the young Belarusian. Another rail from Azik. Okay, that's right for, for the split play, surely. Not Claude is going to be kicking himself for not being able to hold solid control for longer. Yeah, two minutes is really not enough. He's gonna go set up for this yellow armor, but let's see if He's he can actually hold on to it. He still has the rail advantage. He needs to keep using it. And he needs to keep denying the rail from Azik. I think Azik wants to drop down at his red armor. He knows the timing. There it is. He has to take any damage. And plus, now he lost control unless he uses more than one rail. Yeah, Asik going to be able to push him away over here. Claws, it's not worth being in this fight. 70 health left. He does manage to get a little bit of extra damage, which is going to nullify some of that mega. But it's... It's up in the air at the moment. Claws is going to have to be beyond spectacular in his survivability skills here. Oh. A little bit of a delay on the red as well. I don't think Claws is going to recognize this. Asik only just now takes it. There's a nice clean gap between the two major items. Asics obviously got a plan in this. 
That last rail that Gloss hits is going to be very important because he's still a lot of Gloss to try and do damage at this mega. But he doesn't show up. He's more interested in getting more rail ammunition, which is also fine. Claws, so let's have a look at the damage quickly. Claws has done 500 more damage than ASIC. The yeah, and ASIC's becomes... still in control of the game, though. Yeah. But, but he's not health. getting any frags. What's, what's like ASIC's his... on 150, 120. And, but Claws managed to get 140 armor. He needs to use his as, as well as he can. And you can see ASIC, like when he's in control, he's making sure he gets the green armor as well. Because that's 25 armor buffs, and he Claws getting the yellow and the shards in the green. That's 100 armor right there. And Claws is already in the red way too soon. ASIC's oh. gonna come in, but does he have enough stack? He's being careful now. If the others oh. up, and Asic misses the rail. This is going to be a kill for Claws 4-0. And well, you said that he he's might not even be able to take it close, but Claws' rails I think are keeping in, him in the game. Yeah, definitely keeping him in the game. But I don't think that's the frag that he really wanted to take. He needs to get a very clean one in here as well. Wow. And he doesn't even get the frag. That was How the hell? that was awful. That was really bad LG from Claws there. He was up the but bounce pad for crying out, but now all of a sudden Claws takes yeah. the next kill. The rockets definitely make up for it. That could be another one right off the spawn. Doesn't even need to take the kill if he doesn't take the kill and doesn't take any more, any more damage. Just means that that this yellow should be him. Is even there? It is. And Azik, I don't think he's. I think he kind of underestimated Claws at the start of the game. I think so. He will, then again, when Claws just keeps landing rails, it's not really easy to stack up on the M6. There is seven to one. He's I'm sure Azik still hasn't given up, and he, he will try and make a comeback happen, but Claws right now is just being really solid in his survival skills. Because he lost control, he need not give up. And he kept surviving with the rail until he got an opportunity. And he made it work. Now he's got a bit of a frag advantage. He's, he's just securing the items. He's just recognized that actually Mega's gonna be clashing with this unless I delay it a tiny bit. And I said that this is, this is a nice play from Claws. And I, th I think we saw that ASIC gave up an extra frag or two just out of frustration. Oh, and, oh my god, nice little uh, snipe there from Claws of the LG. He's gonna find him off the spawn. This is gonna be another one. Uh, ASIC, you are falling far into, well, well, not the lead, certainly. Eight frags. Okay, this is ASIC's last attack right now. He needs to do a lot of damage, and he does do a lot of damage. Which is unlucky not to get the kill, but he knows. Based on that, he can keep going aggressive and just hope that he actually gets the next frag. And wow. there it is. Now let's see what ASIC has to offer. I've got to say, I wasn't expecting him to turn up quite so fast in exactly yeah, the right spot. Yeah, really, really fast. Plus, really smartly as well, his first weapon pick was the rail. But he needs to connect, he doesn't connect to the first one, and now it might be a little bit too late. He's gonna die. Look at that, he's dead. chasing so damn hard, there's the mega up. ASIC, you gotta be quick. He, yeah, needs, you gotta to. he needs to. He needs to chase them hard right now. That's, it's his only chance, seven frags, four minutes to go. Do you not think he could have afforded to just pick up the red, rotate onto the mega? No, and then... no, no, no. Okay. Because then Claws would still have the rail advantage, and that's what ASIC doesn't want Claws to have. Got it. Oh god, that was oh. risky stuff. Claws managed to pick up the red as well, so that's he's game. stuck. I think that's right. game right there. And this is even Claws. gamer. Yeah. Alright. Oh, uh, Claws, is... Claws. Chill out, I'll man. consider this, I mean, beating ASIC on the M6. I would consider it an upset at this point. I mean, yeah, you certainly weren't, expe uh, weren't expecting this result. I guess I was. I didn't have so many expectations going into this map, but uh, Claw. Uh, sorry, Asic certainly picking it. I would have felt that he'd have an advantage, and it's really not been the case. I mean, the way that Claws fires is really sickening. It's like he doesn't even aim; he just randomly flicks and he hits 50%. But it's like really sort of casual, smooth flicking, you know? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> rockets! I think Cypher's on the server oh. observing. Uh, yeah. He is. Mad bodies as well. All eyes from the veteran Belarusian players are on the young superstar. <laughs> it's gonna be Cypher playing Mad Ball, of course, after three Belarusians we're getting uh, today. And I think that's all of the Belarusians that we have in the playoffs. And pretty much all of the Belarusians that compete, I think. 
yeah, if the next map is going to be Cure, this was a very important win for Klaus. But if the next map was Cure, I, I think Azik would have just managed to... If Azik won this map, I think he'd have managed to hurt Klaus's ego enough to get a, a win at Cure. Hmm. I, I would expect Claws to be a favorite in this series. Not by much. Maybe maybe 60-40 at the limit. But that, that evil victory, I, I think it's most of the reason why I would give him that advantage. And it, obviously, if he does get such a convincing map win now, and it happens the same on the fourth map, then that advantage is definitely going to uh, stretch out a little further. Oh, apparently the next map is going to be Lost World, Claus's pick, and Cure will be the last one. Uh, do you know much about uh, Asic and his uh, Lost World in uh, Escapades? A, a Polish player on Lost World, that's, that's really, really strong. <laughs> he should be very, very good there. And the worst part is Claus on Lost World, he will not have the weapon that's been winning him the games. True. His LG's been good though. You gotta say his LG. Yeah, his LG been... has been very, very good. He's ha he had that moment where Asic went up the bounce pad where we were kind of like stunned and like, what the hell were you doing there? But on the whole, he's been he's been pretty good with it. Uh, Asic didn't really have much of a chance to shine in that. We had a nice little chase where he just tore through the map, killed Claws who uh, possessed the the railgun. But other than that, it was kind of like we 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 really didn't get to see the best of Asic. I don't think and. Hopefully mm -hmm. we'll get to see something better on Lost World because I want to follow Asic off the beginning of that. Okay, so yeah, we're we're both here on the well, everyone's here on the map, and there it is. They're starting these guys very quick to F3. Uh, I'm gonna check out, see if Asic can uh, deliver and give us a tiebreaker map. He's gonna be getting by the 50 health level at the top. He's gonna win the race over to the Rockets. Does he know exactly what happened with Claws off the beginning? Oh, what? Oh. You have lost the <laughs> No way did that just happen. That is unbelievably... How did he blow himself up? Like, he dropped down and then... Uh, no, he didn't drop Wait, down. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna see the stars on the stream. Yeah, because he got hit by shot. Oh, wow. Armor, and then he yeah. rocket jumped up to 6 health, trying to get the red armor. And then he's, he might even die again over here. Well, so this is a star that Claus really wanted, and the star that Azik really didn't need. That was a nice but, red armor snatch. Yeah, he just stole the red armor, and if he gets another yellow and the LG, he'll be looking very good. I guess they're trying to pile on the pressure a little bit. Is he hitting hard enough? He's gonna commit to it, and it was a well read fight. Azik's gonna get himself off the negatives very fast. Yeah, I mean, the one not committing there should have been Klaus, but he, he realized that his LG has been very, very good and he thought that he could get another frag and on that, like, whoever won that fight would be able to get both Red and Mega. Oh, as I say that, Klaus just snatches the Mega away. He might even get top yellow as well. Well, LG yellow. Oh. No. Oh, giving uh, some respect to Asic over here. Asic's gonna get sent but to With only shotgun. Is that like, all he has? It would be a bit of a gamble of uh, beating Asic in the corridor. 200 armor now for the Polish player, and there's a fair bit of time until Mega's up. He's got to think of a way to protect this. And then presumably just try and hunt and kill and speed up the game to a level that he's more comfortable with. In. He didn't actually take any damage over there, so I'm surprised he didn't just go in for a dive and try something out. There it is, Claws. You've got to pick up the plasma at exactly the wrong time. This is going to be the lead now for the Polish player, and now he can leg it over to that red armor. And maybe get a yellow kind of on his way around the map. Oh, nicely done. Couldn't even get the two yellows before the mega, and that's going to be an easy frack. Is I mean, that was a good fight for Claus, but he just didn't have any stack. Really That's nice mega for Azik as well. He's just gonna circle the whole thing. He can try and do it again as well as this uh, LG yellow and the red. Got nicely synced up for him. Problem is, Claus might read this. He's, he's not doing it. I actually think that's a nice little safe move there. And uh, Claus was waiting over by the yellow. And he probably would have had the LG out in case Asic tried to 
the same kind of stuff. I said just moving oh, out. Yeah, just got stuff in front of yeah, and after that little fight, that's probably gonna be Mag and Mega and Red for Aze. He needs to make sure he gets the Mega first, because if he goes for the Red Claws, he would be able to steal the Mega. And there it is, man, is to secure both. Now he can try to be as aggressive as he wants to be. Taking care of the bounce pad, as you should. Learn from this, guys. The amount of times we see pro players or top players failing on that bounce pad and losing the game it's way too much and this is it. he's got so much health it's going to be an easy kill in the end and now he's got the red to look forward to and then set up for the mega health this is actually a really good demonstration of how you should be playing lost world in control maybe not such a good demonstration of how you should play the lost world out of control though from he seems to be getting caught off guard quite a lot. Okay, that's very good from Klaus. He managed to get the two yellows. So Azik, if he wants to keep his control going, he's going to need to be a bit more aggressive on the yellows. And this is Klaus' opportunity. He just needs to do as much damage as he can. And he already dealt like 50 or 60 damage. If he gets another yellow, Klaus should attack at the Mega. If he has any idea of the timing as well. And the Mega is going to be up right now. Uh, Asix let that one go, actually. I'm not sure, why, why would Asix do that? Do you think he was just lacking confidence in the fight? He knew he took a lot of damage, and right now he, he's okay with not taking risky fights as long as he gets the position up top and knows the timing of both yellows. That's what he's going to be trying to do. The Klaus, being really fast, he's got one of them and he's probably going to attack at the other one. Asix needs to be careful. There comes Claus. Claus chasing, that was a nice little bit of an LG over there. A6 trying to back away, one health nice. left, and he can't find the hallways. Really good chase by Claus. Managed to get all of the items in. That's another frag right there. If you can make it, That's this is up. really messy. I was actually almost worried for a second. He was, he was like very erratic mouse movement. He can let Azik get the rocket launchers, he just needs to get, make sure he gets the other yellow. And right now Azik's gonna get that yellow, that's what Klaus didn't want to happen. So he might try to set up a, tra a trap before the Mega Hell. Well, we'll just settle with staying there. Bounce pad will do. <laughs> Screw doing another rocket jump. Alright, so this is uh... Claude's time to continue shining. Uh, uh, Asic is just trying to be completely invisible at this point. He's got to make sure he's always got that escape plan, otherwise, Claude is going to pounce and get his claws st stuck in. Yeah? Good. Uh oh, Asic, he went around the wrong corner, the rockets from Claws have been pretty exceptional, but actually Asic's damage as well has been decent, and Claws can't justify uh, continuing to chase. And that's 100 armor for Asic and death. Okay, Why? sorry, Asic, you deserve to win now, because you checked bounce pads and Claws didn't. Twice. Is it twice now? Yeah. He might have literally might have just lost the game from doing that. He most likely did. And that's gonna be another track for Aze, but okay, what? the shotgun saved him a lot there. Oh wait, let's do we have can we time out? Someone time out the game please. Uh I don't Dude, think can I we can. time out. I don't know why I can, I stop my server. Oh right, we can time out, but we can't pause. No, we can't we can pause, but we can time out. Okay. Fair, fair, this fair clause is now 999. Well, it's a good job that he managed to do all that shotgun damage before he went 999, because otherwise he probably would have died. Yeah, but now if they restart the game, at least clause has another shot of getting a good start. But it wouldn't be a rest. Would it not be like three minutes and then. I mean, what do we do? But do I just unpause?